include everything. All right, guys, we are back in Code Combat doing backwards standoff. We'll be doing if statements, arguments, while loops, and basic syntax. We got our girl here, and she's ready to roll. Alright, just say, you say to scare the munchkins away when Cleaver's ready to use it. Okay, so basically we don't want to move, and then we want to say, we want to create, remember Cleave? We want to say, look, if it's ready, Cleave, else we want to say something. So, we're going to do if hero dot is ready, and then we'll put Cleave in there. How do we cleave again? That was hero dot cleave enemy. All right, hero dot cleave enemy. Uh, I wonder if we can just do hero dot cleave. Does it have to have a parameter? Let's see if that will work. Okay, cool. Uh, Cause it's an AOE spell. <laughs> We don't actually have to pass in a parameter. If you're, we're okay just cleaving where we're at and not worried about it. We're just, and it, if there's a guy around, we'll just, I'm okay with that. So else, what do we want to do? We want to say, what was it we're supposed to say? Say, say something. Say, back up, homie. With three exclamation marks. All right. Let's go ahead and submit that, see what's going on here. So cleave, back up on me. There it goes. I was like, oh, for a second I didn't think it was working. Alright, it looks like that worked. Cool! So we got a new item. Uh, wood, wooden glasses. I think we already have wooden glasses. Uh, we're not doing dueling grounds right now because it's a multiplayer one. We'll come back to that. Peasant protection, while loops, variables, arguments, basic syntax. Oh, we don't have these. Distance to find nearest enemy, find nearest item. Very nice. All right. Repel the ogres. Humans must survive. Okay. So var distance. Uh, saying, look, set a variable to the distance to the enemy. If the enemy gets too close, you attack it. Otherwise, move to stay close to the peasant. All right, so this is kind of like our, our landmark here. So if distance is less than 10, hero.attack enemy. Um, and then we'll see if, we'll see if, we'll do, we'll do it correctly. So if there is an enemy, Hero to attack enemy. So if it's within 10, hero to attack. Else, we want to stay at uh, 40, 40. Else, um, hero dot move xy, 40, 40. Essentially move back to where you're at. So, <coughs> looks like it, uh, everything's going according to plan. <coughs> Looks like everything worked out pretty smoothly. Very nice. All right. Um, next up, Munchkin Swarm. Basic syntax, arguments, strings, variables, while loops, if statements. So we're slowly building on our skill set here. Break open the chest, stay alive. So the greetings to beat this level yourself. Distance two, cleave, lesson, watch. While true loop, attack chest. So, let's see what it says here. Check the distance to the nearest enemy. So, we can go ahead and say var distance equals distance, or let's see, distance to target. All right, so let's do this. Our enemy. Our enemy. 
and then we want to say look we want the distance to that enemy and we'll also do this if if there is an enemy otherwise we don't what is this if enemy find the distance to that enemy all right if it comes closer than 10 cleave it so we can actually I want to kind of keep our comments in line with what we're trying to do so we'll say if distance to what's here distance is less than 10 all right so this is actually a already doing that so cool so what we want to do here is say look if the distance is less than 10 and if this is less than 10 and is ready cleave uh, cleave hero dot cleave enemy cool else hero we'll just say attack not enemy we want to attack the chest so real quick uh, find the distance to the nearest enemy if or find the nearest enemy if there is an enemy find the distance to that enemy and then if the distance is less than 10 and the hero ability cleave is ready go ahead and cleave that enemy else attack the chest so they're, they're keeping their distance right now so you see how i cleaved right there when they tried to bum rush me so they're keeping the distance not too bad it's a good strategy by them but it's not gonna work all right cool uh got next up we're getting our basic flags now we'll actually be uh dropping flags and moving our character around in a much more live action sort of way so um it's about to kick up a notch so as always guys thank you for those of you supporting my on patreon it's very appreciated thank you for subscribing and commenting and i'll see you guys in the next video appreciate it a ton hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to like comment and share and support me on patreon check out wayup.com it's a great way to find full-time jobs internships part-time jobs and one-time freelance work for the college student all you need is a edu email it's completely free and you'll help me out in the process too thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time